Hi there. My name is Thomas, and today I'm sitting at the home theater listening room at the Dali headquarters in Denmark. Today I would like to give you an introduction to a simple home theater system based on our brand new Dali Opticon Mac 2 series. The Opticon Mac 2 series has been designed and built right here in this building, and they remain fully Danish in manufacturing just outside that door at our own factory here in Nørrega. Our in-house woodworking facility handles everything from cutting and rooting the MDF enclosure panels to applying the surface finishes and constructing the cabinets. A lot of attention has gone into improving the Dali Opticon Mac 2, both acoustically and aesthetically. Before we go into more details, let's begin with taking a look on the two main speakers of the system, the Dali Opticon 6 Mac 2. The floor standing Opticon 6 Mac 2 is using two 6.5 inch SMC and wood fiber comb based mid range drivers and a hybrid tweeter module, and they're configured in a 2.5 way configuration. We are now using a new and improved paper and wood fiber cone for the base drivers, which gives us slightly better performance than the one we used before. And we matched it with a new low loss rubber surround to match the new matte finish of the cabinet as well. All the speakers in the Opticon Mac 2 series uses a new 29mm soft dome tweeter derived from the Callisto series and offers significant advances over the soft domes used in the previous Opticon series. Using the same soft dome tweeter across the entire series also keeps a consistency of tonal character and dispersion between the models. This is especially important in a surround setup like this. You want the sound character to be the same when the different sounds are being panned and placed in the surround mix. For the center channel, we use the Opticon Vocal Mac 2 center speaker. The center channel is the one in the surround mix, which holds the biggest part of information. So it is very crucial that the center speaker is of a high quality, at least on par with your main speakers. The Vocal Mac 2 is specifically designed for center channel applications and optimal performance within this area but it's also designed to blend seamlessly with the other speakers in the Opt Opticon Mac 2 range with wide dispersion and great dynamics. If you look closely at the Vocal, you'll see that the Vocal Mac 2 uses the same ribbon and soft dome tweeter as the Opticon 6 Mac 2, and that now we have also upgraded the tweeter faceplate on all the models in the series, constructed in a big and inert piece of aluminium instead of plastic. This keeps unwanted resonance and distortion to a minimum. The Vocal Mac 2 is a stunning performer, offering a realistic reproduction of both dialogue, music and sound effects. In order to keep absolute consistency in the sound all the way around us, we've chosen to use the Opticon LCR Mac 2 as rear channels. The LCR Mac 2 uses the same driver configuration with a hybrid tweeter module and a custom engineered six and a half inch SMC based base and mid-range driver like in the Vocal Mac 2, but in a low profile and wall mounted cabinet. This makes the LCR perfect for a discrete wall mounted surround speaker, but it could just as well be used as left, center or right, hence the name LCR. Now that we have the five surround channels covered, let's move on to the most entertaining part of the surround system, the point one speaker, the subwoofer. The subwoofer is designed to play sub bass, or rather bass that is lower in frequency than your main speakers will be able to play. The subwoofer has its own dedicated audio channel in the surround mix called the LFE channel, which stands for low frequency effects. Playing low frequency audio at high volume levels demands a lot of energy. Therefore, the subwoofer typically has its own built-in amplifier to be able to deliver the sub bass information at realistic volume levels. The subwoofer we use here is the DALI E12F, which uses a 12-inch bass driver and a powerful 220-watt built-in amplifier. If you look closely at the E12F, you'll see this is the newly designed E12F with the new matte finish and our furniture-grade front cover, making it the perfect partner for the newly designed Opticon Mac 2 series, both acoustically but also visually. Completing the configuration, we have added two height speakers in the ceiling. 
In this example, we've used two of our custom installed DALI E80 in ceiling speakers. Another option for height information could also be the very versatile DALI Altico C1, mounted as front height speakers. To complete the entire system, we are using the new and magnificent NAD T778 surround sound receiver. This amplifier holds nine channels of stellar sounding, 140 watts amplification, and high-end digital to analog converters as well. The T778 is not only a fantastic sounding multi-channel amplifier, but it will give you amazing performance in two-channel stereo as well. In addition to this, you get built-in streaming capabilities with the award-winning Blue Sound Blue OS system, making it able to stream high-res music from, for example, Tidal, MQA or Cobus directly into the receiver controlled by your smartphone or your tablet. Also, as a fantastic feature, this amplifier has built-in DRAC Live Room Correction System, which means that it will be able to measure your room's acoustics with the supplied microphone and optimize all your speakers to work perfectly in your specific acoustic environment. The NAD T778 is, in my humble opinion, a perfect partner for the Opticon Mac 2 series, and it will be difficult to beat the sound quality and the build quality you get for your money in a system example like this. Thank you very much for watching this video on our example on how to build a Opticon Mac 2 surround sound system. Obviously, there are many ways to do this, so please consult with your local DALI dealer and get a great demonstration on the new Opticon Mac 2 series.